All right, so the first thing you have to do is set up your MIDI ports. So go into Preferences, uh, MIDI Sync, and then turn on the track switch for your controller. And then pick a MIDI yoke port to use. In this case, I'm using MIDI yoke 1. Turn on the remote switch for the input, and turn on the track switch for the output. All right. Now don't mind these two tracks. These are just for recording the audio for this video. But you uh, have to insert two MIDI tracks. This one's going to be for the instrument track, and then this one we're going to use for routing and recording. This is going to receive from the pad control, or whatever controller you're using, and then send to your uh, MIDI yoke port. We're going to arm this track, and then this track is going to receive its MIDI from this track, so track 4 in this case. Alright, I'm going to turn the monitor to N. So I'm just going to load up a copy of Impulse on this instrument track. Alright, and this what we're basically going to be creating is a four note sequencer, so we're going to use the first four slots in Impulse. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do on this first layer is load up uh, four hi-hats. Alright. Alright, so we got four hi-hats. Uh, now I'm going to group this to create a rack, then go into the chain list, go back to uh, my live browser, and then drop another copy of Impulse in here. And this is going to be for my kicks and snares. So I'm going to drop a kick on this first slot, and then uh, a snare on the second slot, or I'm sorry, on the third slot. Alright, so those are my two layers of sounds. Now we need to set up the switching, so I'm going to go into uh, Live's browser and load a pitch plugin and then a scale plugin in that order. Alright, then I'm going to go into MIDI mapping mode, Control M, and uh, map my pad to the my first pad to the pitch plugin. Alright, then I need to scale the range of this control. I'm going to set the min range to zero and the max to three. Alright, that's going to give me four steps: zero, one, two, three. Alright, so that's all set up, and now you can see that the this pad switches the pitch alright but it's not triggering the different sounds alright the reason for that is because as you probably already know um, impulse only works on natural notes not sharps or flats so we need to change this uh, scale plugin alright so the first four notes are just basically the white notes basically and that's pretty much it all right, so to make this a little more interesting, I added some more samples. I filled up the rest of the slots in Impulse here with three more of the same hi-hat, and then I put an open hi-hat in here. And then on chain two, I added a couple more kicks and then a snare. On my scale effect, I just uh, went the rest of the way up with all the notes with, you know, just having them on the, on the white notes, and then the same thing for these other four notes. All right, so now basically this pad is going to cycle through notes for all the other pads too. Alright, so you're going to be able to create basically rhythms that way, like this. You know what I mean? Stuff like that and, and just, you know, endless variations or whatever.